Hello guys, welcome back to Throne FC. We are continue our Euro 2024 preview series where I'm releasing a video for every single national team present in Germany. And today, we're going to take a look into a country famous for its bikes, its tulips and for producing goal and generation after goal and generation only to bottle it all when it matters the most. If you couldn't guess by my description or you simply like to click on videos without reading the goddamn title, I'm talking about the Netherlands. That intro might sound arch, but it's just a reality. The Netherlands have indeed one of the unluckiest records in international football with three presences in a World Cup final only to lose every single one of them. When it comes to their record in Euro tournaments, it gets slightly better. The Netherlands have won the only final they participated in in 1992, but on the other hand, they haven't made it to the semi-final since Euro 2004. And to make it worse, their latest Euro Championship runs have ended in massive disappointment. In 2008, the Netherlands obliterated their group of death only to lose in the quarters against Russia. In 2012, they were placed in another group of death alongside Portugal, Germany and Denmark and while you could excuse them for not progressing to the next stage, I have to remind you that they came to the tournament as World Cup finalists and ended up in 4th place. From 2016 until 2021, the Netherlands would miss out on the next two international tournaments before making a comeback in Euro 2020. Similarly to what happened in 2008, they were terrific in the group stage, three wins in three matches, but in the round of 16, they collapsed against Czechia. So, can we really expect anything different? Can we count on a better run? Looking solely at their qualifying campaign, it's kind of hard to tell. The Netherlands qualified out of their group with two losses against France and six wins over Greece, the Republic of Ireland and Gibraltar. In the recent friendlies, they were able to thrash Scotland but lost against Germany. When it comes to their latest appearance in the Nations League Final Four, they lost against Croatia and Italy. Do you see the pattern? The Dutch possess a solid collective of players, especially when it comes to midfield and defense that guarantees them a slight edge against inferior opponents, but when they go up against the cream of the crop, their forwards are just not good enough. Which is kind of ironic considering that Memphis Depay is only 6 goals away from breaking Van Persie's record and becoming the country's top scorer ever. But if you've been watching football for the past 10 to 15 years, I don't think I have to elaborate too much on how big of a difference there is between the Dutch attacking prowess from let's say the 2000s or early 2010s and nowadays. But still, even though their squad isn't as intimidating as it once was, perhaps the Netherlands' greatest problem is their own coach. There there are doubts about Koeman's ability to lead this generation of players and the process since his reappointment has been anything but smooth sailing, with several uninspiring performances and questionable team selections. Furthermore, they have struggled with the long-standing issue of players not being able to replicate their club form at the international level. Besides, Koeman's pragmatism has completely destroyed any Dutch creativity. And if he goes into this competition with the same defensive mindset, I can see another round of 16 exits. Well, it's either that or another iconic run like Portugal in 2016, a la Fernandes. Either way, if the Dutch want to be successful in Germany like they were in 88, they'll need the difference maker fully fit. Frankie de Jong has been the master in both Barcelona and his own national team by offering so much when it comes to his above average reading of the game and subsequent progressive passing. Not only that, but he's also pretty decent when it comes to defending as well. The problem with de Jong and why he isn't as celebrated as other players like Rodri for example is that he's always injured. But like I mentioned in other preview videos, Euro 2024 is a short tournament and it's much easier to leave a mark compared to a regular season. So if his recovery goes according to plan, he'll be in Germany to lead the Netherlands midfield. Now, how will the Orange actually line up? There is a good chance Koeman will stick with 3 at the back and Stefan de Vrij is likely to get the nod ahead of Van de Van and Matthijs de Ligt purely based on experience, with Van Dijk and Hake almost certain starters. Regarding the goalkeepers, Bart Verbruggen is currently holding the Netherlands number one jersey, but his position is by no means safe. He only got his first opportunities when Mark Flecken suffered an injury, but since the Brentford player has endured a good run of form in the last couple of months, I assume Koeman will give him back the number one role, especially if you take in consideration his higher level of experience. Moving on to the midfield, Frankie de Jong has a spot safe for him like I told you earlier. Meanwhile, Jerdy Schouten is said to be the Dutch playmaker's right hand man, having been one of PSV's stand up performers during their run to Wet the Visi Glory and Champions League knockout stages. 
at right wing back, Kuman will have quite a headache when he has to choose between Frimpong and Dumfries. While I would personally go with the Leverkusen star, I believe Dumfries will get the nod. On the opposite wing, Blind would bring experience after a wonderful season with Girona. In the last third, the story will be the same. Kuman will continue to favor Vegors despite his uninspired season with Hoffenheim. Cody Gakpo will likely sit just behind Vegors alongside Paris Saint-Germain starlet Xavi Simons as he enjoyed a suburb individual campaign on loan at RB Leipzig. Plus, you can't forget Memphis Zapai and most importantly Joshua Zirkzi who could give a new breath of life into the Dutch attack. So, with all of that in mind, what can we expect the Netherlands to achieve in the group stage? International tournaments are obviously tricky to predict because it's rarely a black and white situation, but I'll continue to go with my rational side and pick the Netherlands to finish in second place with 6 points. A comfortable win over Poland in the first match, followed by a loss against France and a dramatic win over Austria in the last match day to guarantee the second place in the group. But what do you think? Can the Netherlands shut their critics up or will they continue to disappoint? Let me know what you think in the comments and don't forget to subscribe because right now that we're getting close to Euros, I'm releasing 4 videos a week, previewing every nation till we're basically done with all the teams. Thank you for watching until the end, I'll see you on the next one.